increase in length increase in length due to own weight increase in length due to own weight of a cylindrical wire a wire suspended from a ceiling increase in length due to own weight of a wire suspended from a ceiling this is the ceiling from which a wire this is a cylindrical wire which is suspended from the ceiling and uh, b is the lowest one of the wire and uh, c is the center of gravity of the wire and the wire is suspended from the point o that is from a ceiling m is uh, and we can denote uh, the entire length of the wire that is capital l capital l is the entire length of the wire small m is uh, the mass of the wire and its own weight mg acts from the center of gravity that is from the point c this is the weight of the wire this is the weight of the wire which acts from the center of gravity of the wire mg is the weight which acts in this direction that means uh, weight mg acts vertically downwards from the point c that means from the point center of gravity from the center of gravity of the wire and in this case we can uh, denote this weight mg as the deforming force f f equal to mg now we can denote the deformed state of the wire b prime is the final uh, position of the lowest one of the wire deforming force f equal mg acts from the final position of center of gravity that is from the final point c prime Here, F equal mg is the deforming force and mg is the own weight of the wire which acts from the center of gravity C prime. Due to the elongation of the wire, center of gravity shifted to the point C prime from C. And we can denote the initial position of or initial uh, position of the center of mass or center of gravity of the wire. This is the initial uh, level or initial position of center of gravity of the wire before elongation. And C prime is the final position of center of gravity after elongation of the wire. This is the initial level of center of gravity or cg and c prime is the final position of center of gravity of the wire final position of c dot g means center of gravity we can denote the elongation or increase in length of the wire that is delta l delta l is the elongation of the wire Due to its own weight, under the action of the own weight of the wire, delta L, uh, and also same elongation can be denoted from the point B to B prime. Delta L is the elongation which is measured from C to C prime. Similarly, delta L is also the elongation from the point B to B prime. And we can assume L prime, which is equal to L by 2. Now L prime equal L by 2 that is the distance of point of application of deforming force from the fixed end that is the distance of the point C or center of gravity from uh, the fixed end O and here let mg be the weight of, of length capital L which is suspended from the ceiling which acts from the center of gravity C of the wire. Now L prime equal L by 2 
which is the distance which is the effective distance or uh, which is the distance of the point of application of deforming force distance of point of application which is the distance of point of application of deforming force if deforming force which is the distance of the point c or center of gravity of point of application of deforming force from the fixed end o from the fixed end o or ceiling from which the wire is suspended now the center of gravity center of gravity of the wire will be displaced will be displaced to the position the center of gravity c will be displaced to the position c prime due to the weight due to the when own weight of the wire due to the own weight mg of the wire and elongation and delta l is the elongation delta l is the elongation of the wire elongation of the wire under the action of the deforming force if delta l is the elongation of the wire under the action of the deforming force f which is equal to the own weight of the wire that is f equal to mg in this case f equal to mg means deforming force f is equal to the weight of uh, the wire now young's modulus of the material of the wire young's modulus of the material of the wire not materials it should be material of the wire is y equals stress by strain y is the ratio of stress by strain a by a that is stress divided by delta l by l prime where l prime is equal to l by 2 which is the distance of point of application of deforming force from the fixed end of the wire distance of the point of application distance of the point c of application of deforming force deforming force if from the fixed end o of the wire from the fixed end o in the diagram l prime equal to l by 2 which is the distance of the point c from which the deforming force acts from the fixed end o from the fixed end o l prime equal to l by 2 which is the distance of the center of gravity from the fixed end or the distance of the point of application of deforming force from the fixed end y equal f into l prime divided by a into delta l now putting the expression of l prime and f mg dot l prime a divided by a into delta l where mg is the own weight of the wire in this case deforming force f is equal to mg or which is the own weight y equal to mg dot l divided by 2 a dot l delta l therefore delta l is equal to 1 by 2 small mg l divided by a dot y delta l equal to 1 by 2 into mg capital L divided by a dot y which is the elongation or increase in length of the wire due to its own weight which is the increase in length of the wire due to its own weight when a wire is suspended in that case the wire will be elongated due to its own weight 
now m equal a dot l into rho where a dot a a dot l is the volume of the wire and rho is the density rho is the density of the material of the wire putting the expression of mass m and m is the mass of the wire delta l equal 1 by 2 a dot l rho d capital l divided by a dot y so finally we get delta l equal 1 by 2 rho g l square divided by a y 1 by 2 rho g l square divided by y so delta l equal rho g l square divided by 2 y 2 y that is the expression of elongation of the wire due to its own weight delta l equal rho g l square divided by 2y which is the elongation of the wire elongation of the wire due to its own weight of the wire elongation of the due to its own weight delta l and in the diagram mg is the own weight of the wire or weight of the wire which is equal to deforming force which acts uh, from center of gravity and we can denote the elongation delta l is the elongation which is rho g l square by 2y